Without question, one of the most important skills for any deer manager involved in a QDM program is the ability to age deer after harvest. Well, why is it important to know the animal's age? Well, without knowing the animal's age, it's unfair to compare deer by body weight, by antler size. It's also impossible to know where your deer program is and where it's going because you have to know the age structure of your deer herd. That will help you set realistic goals and expectations for your program. It's also a lot of fun and adds great value to your hunting experience. The most commonly used technique to age deer after harvest is the tooth replacement and wear technique. And this technique can be used by hunters. It's also used by the vast majority of wildlife biologists across the nation. As the name implies, this technique actually involves two different processes or techniques. Tooth replacement, which is simply the replacement of teeth over time, just as in humans, and also tooth wear, the erosion of teeth over time. The tooth replacement part of the technique allows you to quickly assign deer to three age classes, those being fawns, those one and a half years of age, and those two and a half or older. The tooth wear part of the technique allows you to take deer from two and a half and age them uh, into the older age classes. Okay, let's get started with the tooth replacement part of the technique. And again, this technique allows you to quickly separate deer into three age classes, those being fawns, those one and a half years of age, or those two and a half or older. And we do that by identifying individual teeth and also distinguishing between the baby form of the teeth and the adult form. So the first step is I recommend obtaining a jawbone from a, from a whitetail and learning to hold it properly so you can identify the individual teeth. And I'm presenting the jawbone to you the way you should be viewing it so you can actually see down into the cracks and crevices of the teeth and also identify where those individual teeth are within the jawbone. And if the jawbone you obtain has some flesh, you can scrape that off so you can actually get a better view of where those teeth enter the jaw itself. An adult whitetail will have six adult teeth, three premolars and three molars. And that allows you to, to know at least you've got a, an adult jawbone in your hand. So once you're familiar with identifying those teeth, the next step is to count the teeth you have and identify and distinguish between the adult form of those uh, premolars and the baby or milk form of those teeth. When a whitetail is born, it's going to have three temporary premolars or baby teeth that are later replaced and one molar, so it's going to have four teeth. Uh, however, if it's harvested that hunting season, a fifth tooth may have erupted. So the key to distinguishing uh, a fawn is very simple. It's going to have less than six teeth. So if you obtain a jawbone and it has less than six teeth, that's all you need to know, that's a fawn. The next step is to identify a one and a half year old animal. And a one and a half year old uh, jawbone will have six teeth but the key here is to go to that third tooth or that third premolar and distinguish whether that particular tooth, that third tooth, has three parts to that tooth or three crests or cusps or two. If it has three, then that is a one and a half year old animal. That is still the baby form of that tooth that is later replaced with the adult form. So the animal has six teeth, but that third tooth is a three parted tooth. That is a one and a half year old deer. If your jawbone has six teeth, and again, going to that third premolar, that third tooth from the front of the jaw, if that has two sections to that tooth, that is the adult form. That deer is at least two and a half years of age. So very quickly, you should be able to pick up any jawbone just by counting the teeth and uh, learning to distinguish that third premolar, whether or not it's the three-parted baby form or the two-parted adult form, you can quickly assign deer to those three age classes. A fawn, fewer than six teeth. A one and a half, it will have six teeth but a temporary or three-parted premolar at that third position, or an adult deer two and a half years of age or older, again, six teeth, but the permanent form of that third premolar. As previously discussed, the key to identifying a one and a half year old animal is the presence of six teeth, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and the presence of the baby or three-parted form of the premolar. However, there is one exception that you should be on the lookout for. This replacement process of these first three teeth occurs at about 19 to 21 months of age, which in some states that allow late season hunting can be during the hunting season. And as you can see in this particular jawbone, the process of replacement of these first three teeth is actually occurring. And you can see the adult form of the tooth uh, in each case starting to replace the baby or uh, milk forms. 
And as you can see in this particular jawbone, those teeth have actually been replaced. The second and third premolars have already been replaced. The, the first one is actually in the process probably only days if not hours away from being replaced before this animal was harvested. So using the technique by the book, you would be tempted to call this a two and a half year old animal because it does have the adult form uh, in this third position. However, you shouldn't assign that age to it. It is actually a one and a half year old animal which can be easily determined by the crispness of or newness of these teeth. They're unstained, they're clearly brand new teeth. That is a one and a half year old animal. Again, be on the lookout, particularly if an animal's harvested very late in the season, December, January, February, depending on a given state's hunting regulations. Now that you know how to separate deer to one of three age classes, the next video in our series will allow you to take deer two and a half years of age and older based on the tooth wear part of the technique.